What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your laptop screen using Filmora 9. Let's get right into this. So I use Filmora 9 for editing my videos and also screen recording anything that I need from my laptop to put into my videos. It is definitely very helpful before using Filmora 9. I was using these free sites that were recording my screen, but after a while the quality was really terrible and since I already had Filmora 9, I realized that they can record your screen for you within the program, which is very, very unique and very helpful. So one thing that I forgot to mention is Filmora 9 is a program that you have to purchase or subscribe to and download onto your laptop. You do get updates and everything like that. And it is, in my opinion, the best video editing software and screen recorder I have ever used. So once you open up Filmora 9 to get to the screen recorder, it's quite simple. You are going to, let me just zoom in here. You're going to go to the top left corner, you're going to go under file, you're going to go down to record media, and you're going to go over to record PC screen. Once you click that, it might take a couple seconds to bring it up. This here is just my uh, upload schedule, no spoilers unless you've already seen it. And you're basically just going to wait for it to launch. Sometimes it does, does take a minute, especially if you have other programs open. Since the only thing I had open is my uh, Filmora 9 Plus, I already had my uh, YouTube schedule open. That's all that I had. I didn't have any internet open or anything like that. But you can record on the internet. So what you're going to do is once it opens up, this is the screen you are going to see. Of course, this button here is going to be what's going to start the recording. If you want to have your audio in the recording or audio of you talking, you are going to adjust it through the microphone setting here. If you are playing a video and you're recording it and capturing it to react to and put that in your YouTube video, first of all, you want to take into account copyright uh, issues, but if you're going to do that, you also have to change the setting here so it will capture audio. Now, whenever you are recording a video, if you click with the mouse with Filmora 9 with the screen recording, you are going to have a white circle or a blue circle go around it, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So, the first thing is, whenever I record a screen, usually I'm on the internet, and I'm either on uh, YouTube capturing some footage, or I'm... Uh, doing a quiz, capturing that, different things like that. So you can click in the corners and drag it to whatever size on the screen you need. You don't need to do just the full screen. As you can see, there is a uh, circle that shows you the corners. So if it's hard to tell where you are placing it, it does zoom it in for you so you can do it that way. Makes it a lot easier to be honest with you. Now I am going to start recording here just to show you guys what it does. It's going to do a countdown, which is very helpful, and it is recording right now. You guys can see, can kind of see, there is a glare, sorry for recording the screen with my camera, but you do see it right here. If I do click that, it is uh, allowing you to open up the recorder, but right now, anything that you do on the screen it is going to show it. So if I click here, as you guys can tell, nothing is happening, but in the recording that you are going to have captured it is going to show me clicking around the screen with blue circles and it is gonna have the audio of the clicking in it as well, which is very helpful. So I know I'm not capturing anything uh, major. Once you open it up the recording here, there is uh, a glare so you guys can't really see it. I do apologize. Let me see if I can click and drag. I can. So. Right here, when it's recording, it's going to show you how long you've been recording for. It'll let you pause it, and it'll let you stop it. If you stop it, it's going to automatically place it into uh, Filmora 9, so you can edit it into your videos, or you can edit that clip and just upload it just like that. Very, very helpful. It doesn't just save it onto your laptop, and then you have to go open up Filmora 9 and place it into there. Once you're done recording and you hit stop, it automatically places it in Filmora 9 for you. And then it's just a matter of clicking, dragging it, 
and then you will edit it just like you do any of your other videos using Filmora 9. Now again, all you need to be able to use Filmora 9 is a either a subscription you can pay I think monthly or yearly or you can do a lifetime agreement with them and purchase it that way. You get the video editing software which is amazing. I absolutely love the quality of the editing that I can do with Filmora 9 but you also get the screen recording which is the best. There's no watermarks for the screen recording using Filmora 9 unlike some other sites that do have a watermark after you did root screen record using them. So it's very helpful, very easy to do using Filmora 9. You just have to have a subscription or paid to use Filmora 9. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.